To host the website off of your computer, you're going to need Docker. Now, if you don't know what Docker is, you can think of it like a virtual machine in the aspect that it is separate from your computer. But instead of virtualizing an entire computer, all this Docker container is running is just the program. That's all. So because Docker containers are only running the bare minimum to help the program run, this means that it's very lightweight and it is very fast. So make sure you have Docker and Docker Compose properly installed. Just search up how to install it and then you can see the official website's instructions for whatever operating system you have. Don't just type sudo apt install docker because that is not the right way to do it. So right now I'm in my terminal and I'm going to go over to a folder that I created. It's at the optional directory and then dash website. Now in here the only thing I have is a folder that's labeled html and this contains the website. There's basically nothing in there, it's basically just one file that has one piece of text. And it's just very simple, but this is just an example. Now what we're gonna be using to set up this Docker container is Docker Compose. This is basically like a Docker run command, but in a file format. So make sure you have that installed and we're gonna make that file using sudo nano. And then we're gonna name it docker-compose.yaml and click enter. Now what we have to say first is what version of Docker Compose we want to use. So I'm going to use the version 3. So just type version and then colon and then 3 with quotes around it. Then click enter and then type services. And then inside this we're going to define all of the containers we want to make. And we're only going to be making one. So click enter again and then tab. Instead of using tab you can also do two spaces if it doesn't look right. Because Docker Compose might not be able to read the file if it's formatted weirdly. So just to keep it safe, I'm just going to use two spaces. Now we're going to name the container. So I'm just going to name it website. And then we're going to do two tabs, which is basically four spaces. And then the first thing we're going to specify is what image we want to use. To run a website, we're going to need a web server. And Nginx is one of the most popular ones. So we're going to stick with that. So just type image, colon, and then Nginx. And then you can also choose the latest version of that just by typing colon and then latest. Now we'll make a new line and then we're also going to specify what we want the name of this container to be. So type container underscore name and then I'm just going to name it website again. Now we need to tell Docker which folders we want to share with this container. Like I said, containers are similar to virtual machines in the way that they're separate from your computer. So if you want folders to share between these containers and your computer, you're going to need to specify that in this file. So to create shared volumes or folders, we're going to have to type volumes and then colon and then enter. Now this time we're going to do three tabs or six spaces. Then type a dash and then another space. Now we're just going to type the location of the HTML folder. So I have it stored in slash opt slash website and then slash html. Now when we type colon, the next location we're going to type is where we want to store it inside of the container. Now I'm going to paste the location of where nginx looks for your website. This is the default location that nginx looks for your html files. So we're going to map it to this location. So nginx will display this html folder whenever someone accesses the website. But we're not done yet. We're going to have to specify the ports that we want the container to use. So type enter and then two tabs. And then just type ports and then colon. And they're going to enter again and do the same thing like we did for the volumes. So the first port we're going to type is on our actual computer. So I'm going to use port 80 for people to access the website because that is the default port for accessing websites and then colon. And then we're going to type the port that the container is going to use. So if I type 80 here, what this means is any connection that is sent to my computer on port 80 will be sent to the container on port 80. So Nginx also listens for connections on port 80 by default. So whenever someone sends a request to view the website on the main computer, it will send that to Nginx on port 80. And then they'll be able to view the website. Now we're just going to click enter and then tab two times. And now we're going to type restart colon equals always. So if this container ever goes down for some reason, it'll always just restart itself back up. Now to save this, I'm going to type control X, Y, and then enter. Now to run this container, make sure you're in the same directory as this Docker compose file. 
then go ahead and run docker dash compose up to start the container up and then dash d to run it in the background and not in your terminal because you don't want to have this terminal always open and then dash dash force recreate now if you're starting up the container for the first time you won't need this dash dash force recreate command but if you've made some changes to the docker compose file and you want to start up this container again you should just run dash dash force recreate to just recreate this container so I'm gonna click enter and it has already created the container. That took like half a second. Now if you wanna see if the Docker container is actually running, you can just go ahead and type docker ps and you should see this nginx container is running. Now to actually view the website on your computer first, you can go ahead and just type 127.0.0.1 in your browser. Now once you type that in, you should see your actual HTML folder. I only have one file in here, so this is all there is in it. And it's pretty simple. Now, if you want to make some changes to the Nginx configuration file, you can go ahead and copy it over to your computer. And then you can just map it into the container so it will use that configuration file that you specified instead of the default Nginx configuration. And then you can add a colon RO to make it read only so that Nginx can't change the file. And I just commented it out right now because I don't really have it on my computer right now. But if you did have your own Nginx configuration file, so you can just use that here. Anyways, that is how you can host a website on your computer really quickly. If this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.